All right, so this is a pretty easy project you can do um, to restore your R107 fog lights. I think these might be on the 116, W116 as well. This is one I already did. This is what it looked like before. Um, really all you can see from on your car is the sides here, the chrome and the glass, but I did the whole thing as well since we're doing it. So the first thing we do is, this is gonna be on your car. I'm assuming you don't want to um, remove it. I had to cut the wires from the dome. It's from a junkyard. So you remove the two screws. And you gotta separate the glass. Well, that came off easy. Sometimes that's a little more difficult. All right, now these two of these just unplug. So that one just unplugs, and this one unplugs from the glass here. But if you want to do the paint job right, you want to take this off. So there's just a, I don't have a flathead here. I'll be back in one second. There is a screw with this little nut on the back. Don't do it all, undo it all the way. You just need to do it a little or that that nut's gonna fall off and it makes the job a little harder. So just a little bit, and that's just a ground. So now, we're going to pull this out without damaging the rubber. So that's gonna be hanging down from your car. So we got that off. Okay, so the chrome. It looks bad, but actually underneath, I've never really found one that's terrible. So there's a number of different um, types of products. Some of them are crap. My favorite is Quick Glow, and apparently it's no longer made. I called a place in like Louisiana. Jay Leno did a segment like 10 years ago on how great it is. But um, see how fast it does. But since that doesn't appear to be available anymore, we'll try stuff you can actually buy. Uh, Moss Metal Polish. We'll try that. It's kind of like toothpaste. Not bad, you can see the oxidation or whatever it is coming up. Then uh, we'll try Blue Magic. Yeah, it's just a lot of, that doesn't really work that well. But we're just trying to clean this up, use whatever you got, it'll eventually clean up. My second favorite is this German stuff. Semi chrome polish. Um, you can't buy it on Amazon in California for some reason, but you can get it on eBay. It's really good stuff. So, look at that, that's coming out perfect. Just so I don't delay this uh, video and you stand here, watch, stand here watching me do that forever, I'm going to move on to the next part. So inside here, it's like a real light chrome and it degrades a lot. So you want to clean this really well. And don't touch the bulb, apparently the oil from your skin is makes it get too hot and then I don't know if it's a wise tale or not. So this isn't cleaning up that great. And we'll try more of this stuff. But this is the reflector part and it looks a lot better if it's clean behind the glass. It makes the glass look brighter. Oh that's actually bringing off the chrome color. So don't do that. So just uh, clean it with Windex. That's too bad. 
Wow. Can you see that? Uh, that's a good thing not to do. It didn't do it on the other one, so I don't know what I did wrong here. All right, so we got that kind of ruined, but next we're going to the glass. This is key to clean this as good as you can. Just spend a lot of time on it. Put it on against white and you can see where it's still dirty. Just cleaning that up. And if there's any paint, if your car had a crappy paint job, this is the best stuff. Goof off, pro remover. Don't use it on your car, it'll take the paint off. Um, I started restoring a Pagoda, a 64 230SL, and I removed two layers of crappy paint and got down to the original paint. But and uh, the project was a nightmare and I had to sell it. But if you're careful, you can remove a layer and get under there, but it's a real lot of work. So we got that clean. Uh, assuming this is, just assume that's clean. And this is important, get the paint to stick. You wanna clean it off. I'm going to first use an anti-grease thing. And then I like to use this stuff before I paint anything. So it's paint prep. In the picture, the guy's got gloves on. So I wear it just because my, my skin is peeled sometimes when I've used these chemicals, so. You probably should use a mask too with done this stuff, but I'm only doing it for a second. All right. So this really cleans it. So this is Eastwood painting prep, but it's just a degreaser, so any degreaser really cleans the paint makes it stick. And it clean where it's not painted, get in there because that's where the tape's gonna go and you don't want, it won't stick if it's all dirty. All right, so you can, do it what you want to tape this up, but I think it's a lot easier just to get some cardboard and outline it. And then we're gonna cut it. Take this up, it's dry, I'm trying to go quick here, so it's not the most boring video ever. And it doesn't really matter, this isn't painted, this little lip on the outside, it doesn't matter, so it's easier just to tape this up. What you don't want is to mask it too much, because again, the only black you can see is here, around here, and here. No one's gonna be looking under your car, I mean, maybe at a Concord, but and you're not gonna see the top, no one's gonna see the back. But you wanna make sure you don't miss some paint along here and here. So we will just tape this up. So I'm just going on there, taping that up. I should have put tape here underneath, I forgot. But uh, 
Maybe it's not too late. I should Let's do it right. So this is what I'm talking about. Just, I think it's cool having the bare metal in here. It just looks like it. So you finish that up and then you're ready to paint. So I'm not gonna show you how to paint. I'm assuming you do. What I use, I hit it first with the primer. Use any gray primer, it doesn't matter. Um, then I do a really nice, this is Rust-Oleum, it's an expensive can versus the cheap crap. Flat black, I don't do gloss. I don't think the original had gloss, I tried to research it. Do two coats of that and then a clear, matte clear to protect the paint. So once we've done that, we've got the portions, this is, um, what we'd have, where did I put the finish? So that's what it, one looks like just painted. So we take that off. Take out that hole. I think this is, this is a little drain plug case condensation gets in there. So there's a hole. It's the only reason I can think it's there. So just make sure that's clear. So we need to redo the wiring. So um, looking for the bulb from this one. The bulb's got a little uh, hook thing that keeps it in place on here. So you want to make sure that's on there. And the line up, there's a, there's a square versus a round, so it goes in a specific way. So the bulb's in, this goes down. All right, now we're going to wrap this through. Plug in. And this is old rubber, so kind of be careful for it when you're doing it. This one's not in great shape. But it's in there. Now you're going to stick this little ground. Hopefully, you didn't move too much of the bracket. Just tighten it. Tightened. This is going to get. Plugged in here. And then this goes here. I don't know if you can see that. I can't figure out how to work the zoom on that thing holding my camera. That didn't seem to go in right. There we go. Get all the wires in. We got it upside down. Oops. All right. So it's like that. And now this is what the chrome looks like after you spend a little time on it. Again, I would recommend semi chrome from Germany. These are all kind of crap. Um, They'll work eventually, but they sure take a lot longer. This seems to have a little bit of grit in it, but it doesn't scratch. And work those stainless steel screws too. Don't, don't want those looking all crappy. What am I doing? Make sure the, you can read the numbers of the right side. So here we go. Well, I'm jumping the gun. So these are, this is supposed to be held in by these clips and these were loose on this one. So someone probably changed it at some point and didn't do it. So there's little clips on the side that you want to push. And 
now we're going to line this up. And that's it. So I'm really going to finish this one right now. It doesn't take long. You could do this in an hour. A lot of that's waiting for paint to dry. But uh, again, work on that chrome. It'll, it'll, it's amazing for, this came off a really crappy 380 SL from the junkyard that um, was in bad shape. And these were dirty, but I'm just, I'm pretty shocked how, how well they held up. I wouldn't worry about the, I mean, it, it's not great that that's all faded, but well, it kind of came back. Maybe that didn't ruin it. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's on this side. Yeah, I wouldn't really worry about that because it, you can't really see it and you don't really rely on these for driving that much. So um, just be careful. And that's it. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you.